We're not gonna. Oh, he's broken. He's, oh, I don't wanna. No. Ah, he died. Now, let us do all of the artifacts. Let's get those extra skill points. We can get three. Ranger! Hello. So, uh, getting all of the artifacts, those three skill points, we need them. Not every author seeks to inspire. Some seek to instruct. So it is with Contrivances of Carpentry by Pelwyn of Lossenark. I spend many an hour tracing the wondrous diagrams within this tome. Instructions for building everything from hobby horses to windmills to catapults. I wonder sometimes who taught more Prentice Carpenters, Pelwyn or his book. <laughs> I believe this statue depicts Gladriel, an elf queen from a legendary forest beyond Gondor. I found scant reference to her in our books, but I know her name means Tree Maiden, and she's said to have hair of gold and silver. She was an elven monarch of the First Age. What wonders she must have seen when the world was so young. Ooh, I want to get this... I want to get this clue. There is an orc camp nearby. What? No, I don't want to do that. It, it, it. I thought that... To be honest, I thought... That, um... It was going to give me a clue. Numenor was an island in the Sundering Seas to the west, the greatest realm of men before it sank beneath the waves. Few survived that calamity, mostly pioneers keen to settle what we now call Middle-earth. We Gondorians have often sought inspiration in what we know of Numenor, and many a young soldier would come to touch the brow of this helmet, wondering what great battles in far-off lands its owner must have seen. Nice. But the three skill points, we're going to get retaliation, naturally. And then, um, maybe I can push, I can push these, but get the main ones first. And then we, we get into specializations. Let's go do it. A helmet of Numenor. Oh, here's a guy with the information. You will obey! I want to get, I'm not going to, hmm. I cannot recruit him. I'm gonna have to shame him. Let's do it. He's uh, terrified of curse. He's flammable. Damaged by ranged. Damaged by executions. And damaged by beasts. Okay. Let's. We can shame him. Where is he? There he is. If there's one thing you need to know about me, talk, is that I am the greatest wit Mordor has ever seen. And if there are two things, is that I'm gonna kill you. That, plus the first bit about the wit, makes two. Funny guy. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes. Use the environment. Use the environment. Come on. Go. There's. Get that. We're not gonna. Oh, he's broken. He's... Oh, I don't wanna. No. Ah, he died. He died too quickly. I want the gear. Did I get the? Did I get the gear? Yes, I did. Okay. Let's see what gear I got. Inventory. This one? Wow. Okay. And I believe we, we also have... Yeah, yeah, we got that. Mm. And then garrison. Is there something wrong with the garrison? You've obtained a training order. Training orders can enhance your followers with powerful traits. Go to the training orders section of the garrison to view your and use your training orders. You can also use training orders from the army menu by selecting a follower. Oh, 
Okay, what's this? Training. Ooh. Raises a follower's level by one. Ooh, I want... Let's do this. No, I don't want to spend Miriam. I've got training owners. I don't want to spend Miriam. That would be stupid. Okay. Now let's continue with our goals. My first drill instructor told me, trust in your training, not your armor. Even a finely wrought plate can buckle under a hard enough blow, but a skilled warrior can evade that blow so it never lands in the first place. Now Minisethal has buckled under. Some blows are impossible to evade, so we do the next best thing. Stand back up again, wounded as we are. Gondor's roots are literal ones, for our realm is intertwined with the White Tree, our greatest symbol and inspiration. Isildur himself gave our people the sapling that would grow into the White Tree, and it survived attacks from Sauron, plagues, and multiple transplants as Gondor's borders shifted in war. Today, the White Tree stands in our capital, Minas Tirith, though it will not blossom again until the king returns, as my father once said. Some extra lore. Almost, I think, yeah, this is the second last one. Nice! We Gondorians are a seafaring people. Though our ships ply the coastlines and rivers, rarely venturing into the open sea. Yet it was not always so. Our ancestors, the Numenorians, and their elven allies sailed to other lands in ships like this model. Sailors even claim it's possible to sail so far into the ocean that land is too distant to see in any direction. Hard to imagine. So I suppose I'll have to see it for myself someday. Some intel. Ooh, I want to get intel on him. He's level what? 15. Okay, he's, it's doable. Uh, fear of burning. Flammable. Damage by range, executions, and stealth. Okay, cool. Get some uh, intel. Uh, he. We don't have any intel on him, do we? I don't think we do. Beast fodder, fear of caragors, damage, range, fire, and stealth. Okay. Cool. Skill point gained. Nice. This ore comes from a longboat that washed ashore in the Bay of Belfalis, and it surely passed through many a Corsair's hands before finding its way inland, where I espied it atop a merchant's cart years ago. I've often wondered about the hands that rode it to sea. Were they the calloused hands of a slave, or those of a dashing Corsair of Umba? I suppose I'll never know. Get more intel. Okay, so he has two. We've got that one's intel. No, we don't. Hmm. Let's do this one. He's level 14. Okay. Fear of poison, damage by range, executions, and fire. Okay. Cool. And we got the skill point. So let's focus on that. We're gonna do the retaliation. Um. Hi! You think your spy is going to be our undoing? No. We'll find out who he is. And you okay. know what we'll do to him. I'll okay, show it. you. Hulk leak. Immune to execution. Arranged by executions. Yeah, we can... Oh, yeah. 
Oh, let's go. Let's do this. Immune to execution, so we cannot use. Okay, what are we going to do? Brutalize, Poison Tendril, Wraith Chain. I like that. The Wraith Chain is quite useful. Deadly Spectre is also kind of good. Uh, Coal Mount, Shadow Mount. I like Shadow Mount as well. It makes it easier. Um, hmm. And I'm closer to the Shadow Mount. Okay, yeah. Let's uh, try and get there on here. Um. Oh, we can also destroy this totem. And get a gem. That is done. Nice. So, um, in the next episode, no, 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 in the next episode, I think what we'll do is we'll start off with, um, doing the Ithildin door, maybe, I'm not sure, because I know there's kind of like a riddle to it, and then focus on maybe the getting more captains and the main missions so that we can level up and, uh, yeah, so... I think that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoy my content, please hit that like button and the subscribe button. 
um, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. Please leave a comment down below on any tips, tricks, questions or concerns that you might have. Also, uh, check out our membership page by clicking the join button or uh, in the description there's a link to that. If you do not like uh, to do it on YouTube, you can also check out our Patreon page. The, the link is also in the description as well. Um, I truly appreciate all of your support. It truly helps the channel and it helps me. And uh, as a thank you, I will have the names of my supporters on each video as the end credit screen. So uh, that will start now. So as a thank you to my supporters, here is your recognition. Thank you again for your support. With that being said, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.